Welcome back to the channel, you guys. It is Comic Kid here again, and today we are talking about the 10 best artists who can pull off a long eared Batman. Now, as one of the most popular comic book characters of all time, Batman has had many different writers and artists at his helm, and so it is no wonder that we have gotten so many wonderful interpretations of the character over the years. That said, it really takes a special caliber of artist to pull off a longer-eared Batman. And I feel like the reason for this is that realistically, it's just incredibly difficult to fight crime with, you know, ears that are two feet, three feet off of your head. And so it really shows just how talented some of these artists can be to pull off a look like this while keeping consistent with the character overall. But that is everything I have for an intro for y'all. As always, be sure to hit like and subscribe to help support the channel and be sure to check out the links in the description below as well. But we will go ahead and just jump right in. Coming in at number 10 is none other than Todd McFarlane. Now, Todd McFarlane is typically associated for his time on Spider-Man, and there is no doubt that he draws a badass Spider-Man. But even with the creator's brief stint on Batman, he really pulls off just, uh, first off, a wonderful cape, but also the long ears pretty well. If you guys follow McFarlane Toys as well, he actually just released a figure for his Batman from his run on the comics, and there's a reason for that. It's an iconic cover, it's an iconic pose, and it's an iconic Batman. And though Todd's style may not suit everyone all the time, this is definitely one of the better long-eared Batman artists out there. Now, coming in at number 9 is none other than Bernie Wrightson. Now, Bernie actually developed his career as a horror artist and is really associated for his time on characters like Swamp Thing, but, I mean, he pulls off a long-eared Batman incredibly well. Obviously, Wrightson's darker style would suit a character who also goes by the Dark Knight, but the long ears on this Batman are just incredibly fitting, nice to look at, and don't really feel out of place. Overall, Wrightson just does a wonderful, wonderful job as an illustrator, and the horror aspects of his art really bring out some of the darker, more gothic style to Batman, in my opinion. Now, next up, we have none other than Tony S. Daniel. Now, I am a little biased, Tony Daniel is one of my favorite Batman artists of all time, but he pulls off a long-eared Batman pretty well too while keeping with a very modern style as well. Now, I will say the ears on Daniel's Batman never really get too long, but it's certainly nice to just see his art at any point in time in my opinion as well. Uh, probably the longest he ever drew them was when Dick Grayson was Batman. Daniel was actually writing and illustrating the book during that time, and I just feel like his style suits Batman really well, both Dick and Bruce. And so yeah, I have absolutely no issues with Tony Daniel as an artist whatsoever. Absolutely love his work, and I think he pulls off a long-eared Batman better than other artists. Now, next up is going to be Sam Keith. Most of you guys will know Sam Keith from storylines like The Max, but Sam actually did a Batman series not terribly long ago, and there's no denying that his more, like, rough, sketchy style certainly suits the Dark Knight as well. I really feel like Sam Keith's Batman would look incredibly strange with short ears. Like, I almost don't want to see him with short ears. But yeah, given the, like, swirliness to Keith's style, I think he pulls off a long-eared Batman just incredibly well, and so it should be no surprise to anyone that he is on this list. Moving on, we have Dave McKean in the number six spot. And you guys might know McKean's art from the ever-popular Batman Arkham Asylum storyline, written by Grant Morrison. 
Now, McKean is a painter. Uh, he did plenty of like Hellblazer covers. He's got a beautiful dark style. And for as shadowy as his Batman can be, it's like the long ears just really emphasize everything. Kind of like with Sam Keese, it's almost like his Batman would look outright strange with short ears. And so, yeah, anytime McKean is on Batman, you can almost guarantee that he will have just the insanely long, like, towering aspect to him. Now, personally, I do feel like McKean's art is a bit of an acquired taste. I would definitely say his style is not for everyone, but when it comes to a long-eared Batman, yeah, McKean is definitely gonna be up there in comparison to others. Coming in at number five, as I'm sure many people expected to be on this list, is none other than Tim Sale. Batman The Long Halloween is arguably the most popular Batman storyline featuring Sale's work, and with an excellent story to go with it by Jeff Loeb, it would certainly make sense why, but I really feel like Tim Sale and Sam Keith have sort of a similar style in terms of like swirliness, but I mean, something about Tim Sale just feels a little bit more polished. I feel like the inks and like the overall darkness to Sale's art just suits him a little bit more than Sam Keith's like brighter art. And for a character like the Dark Knight, I would definitely say this gives Sale that much of an edge. But, I mean, if you guys haven't checked out Long Halloween, I, I mean, I highly recommend it. Uh, Matt Reeves, the director of the upcoming Batman movie, did say that that story serves as an inspiration for this movie. And it is easy to see why. So not only is it a great story, but Tim Sale is just one of those Batman artists who pulls off the long ears incredibly well. Now next up is going to be the late Michael Turner. Uh, before his unfortunate passing, Michael Turner uh, was kind of renowned for his long-eared Batman. If you guys ever get a chance to see some of his work, uh, one of my favorite things that he ever worked on was the Superman Batman arc with Supergirl. Again, this one's written by Jeff Lowe, but Michael Turner's art is just phenomenal. I actually feel like he's one of those artists whose style just fits the longer ears and the brighter colors incredibly well, and so it's like most other people on this list you have like the horror aspect to it, aside from like Sam Keith, but the brightness to Sam Keith and like that style just doesn't complement Batman as well as Michael Turner's style and the brighter colors as well, if that makes any sort of sense. Again, totally just my opinion, but I could look at Michael Turner's Batman for days. And as much as I myself prefer shorter ears on The Dark Knight, Michael Turner's Batman is just wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. But to move on to the number three spot, what should come as no surprise to anyone is Alex Ross. Now, for as realistic as Alex Ross's style is, it's really kind of surprising to me that he can pull off a long-eared Batman just so incredibly well. Granted, he never really gets longer than like Michael Keaton's bat ears were or anything like that, but everything about Alex Ross's style just suits Batman. Ross can actually also pull off a incredibly dark style as well as an incredibly light style, and so I think he just finds that happy medium of being just not only a absolutely fantastic artist, like there's a reason he's considered one of the best artists in the history of comic books, but in terms of his Batman, his work is just so versatile all the time, and he does both short and long ears incredibly well, and so props to Alex Ross for being able to juggle both. In the number two spot as yet another artist who can juggle both short and long eared Batmans is none other than Bruce Timm. If you guys are unfamiliar with Bruce Timm, uh, you likely shouldn't be, uh, because he did the ever-popular animated series from the 90s. Now, I know what you're saying, like, Comic Kid, he did short-eared Batman in the animated series. And yes, he did. Both the original animated series and the new adventures did feature a shorter-eared Batman, but Justice League, Justice League Unlimited, and obviously Batman Beyond showed that Tim can pull off a long-eared Batman just as easily and with just as much style as his short-eared Batman. 
but I mean between the Justice League show and Batman Beyond as well, it should be obvious to everyone that Tim can pull off a long-eared Batman like nobody's business. And based on the concept art for the upcoming Batman animated series, uh, for those of you who don't know, Bruce Tim will be back. Uh, it kind of looks like they're going with a sort of like first appearance Batman. We're not quite sure if that's how he'll look throughout the whole series just yet, but it's still a unique take on Batman's ears. They sit more on the sides than like at the top of the head. And so yeah, we'll see how this art style plays out. But regardless, Tim has proven himself plenty of times in the past to be one of the better artists with a long-eared Batman. Now, as what is probably no surprise to anyone whatsoever, in the number one spot we have Kelly Jones. Jones's style was ever so popular during the 90s and was constantly featured on like the Nightfall stuff. And in my opinion, when most people think of a long-eared Batman, this is kind of the one that they have in their heads. Like with Bernie Wrightson, Jones's art is a bit darker. He does tend to do more horror stuff than not, but he's really built a reputation for himself based on his long-eared Batman. So it should be absolutely no surprise to anyone whatsoever that he is in the number one spot. I would be shocked if someone else made a similar list like this and did not feature Kelly Jones in their top three. Like, his work is just so iconic, and the long years are just so associated with his version of Batman that he is, of course, going to be <laughs> in the number one spot. But that is about everything that I have for you guys today. Let me know in the comments section if I left anyone out in your opinion. I am always happy to talk more Batman with you guys, but thank you all so much for watching. As always, be sure to hit like and subscribe, and I will see you guys again real soon.